Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything Spice. It's Saturday again, so what are we doing? We are cooking and today what I'm cooking is jumbo shells. As you see it, it's jumbo shells. Here they are and it's according to the package, we're gonna do the jumbo shells. But I'm also crock potting. You wanna see it? Are you sure you wanna see it? Come on, I'm not convinced. Here we go. I'm making my sauce. Now I've made this sauce before. This is in the crock pot version of it. So I'm making that sauce for my stuffed shells. So stay tuned and I'll show you the filling of these stuffed shells on the other side. All right, I wanna show you the ingredients that I put into this. Now you see this right here. This is my sauce. Now how I made it was two cans of diced tomatoes, a bunch of basil, that I chopped, it was fresh basil, parsley, a handful of parsley, a little bit of water, a cup of red wine. I usually use red wine for dark, so for tomato sauces. I used a half a cup of sugar and some tomato paste that I squeezed in because it's a squeezable tomato paste. Salt and pepper. And I believe that is it for everything that went in here. Welcome back. All right, what I have here is two sticks of chorizo, or chorico. We call it chorizo in our area. And I'm just slicing it, right? I'm just gonna slice it. Let me see if I can get it right here closer so you can see. I'm just gonna slice it and put it through the food processor. So that way it grinds it, because I need it to be ground. It's going into stuffed shells, correct? So I can't have it this big. So I'm gonna put it into my handy dandy food processor. Hang on, let me put it in. All goes in the bowl. Excellent. And this is the start of my filling for my stuffed shells. So I'm going to put the cover on. Pulse it a few times. You don't have to get it really fine. And you don't want it super chunky either because it's going into little mini shells with cheese. So. Let me check to see if progress has been made. Yo, see, there's still some holdouts, still holdouts that are refusing to go. I know, I know, but... We will win it in the end. Let me check it out. Perfecto! Okay, let me show you what I got. And then we're gonna show you the filling that goes into this. Look here. And that's ground. Now you can buy Charisse ground up like this in a store or Charico or Chorizo, I should say. But Chorizo is different. This is a Portuguese sausage and Chorizo is more like a Mexican or Spanish sausage. But see how ground it is? And that's how you want it. Okay, because it's easier bites. It's easy to bite. It's easier to digest when it's in the stuffed shells. Easier to stuff the shells because it's not so you know big and chunky. But this is how I like it. And let me show you all the filling that goes into my stuffed shells. Hang with me. Now for the filling. I already showed you the ground cherries. That's part of the filling, and that's cooked because I made um, a pork stew the night before. So. Here we go. We got ricotta cheese, and I have 20 ounces. So we're gonna put a whole container of ricotta cheese in a bowl. And you can, I use the whole milk, whole fat, but you can use a lighter one if you wanted to. I just like what the whole fat does for this. It's so good. Okay, so whole container goes in. And I also took some pasta water out some of the cooking liquid. I put some pasta water in the sauce to thicken it up a little bit. To give it a little bit more body. I like to do that with my pasta water. And I'll save some for this as well. So this is all, look at that. Mmm, yum, yum, delicious. All right. Some shake cheese. Because I like shake cheese. This is gonna be cheesy, people, just so you know. Some parsley. 
Mm. Not that much. A little zhuzh of that. Some pepper. I got my new pepper mill that I came in. Isn't it fantastic? It's beautiful. And it came with pepper. Already set up. Some salt. Okay, and you can give it or take it the salt as you will or as your dietary restrictions allow. Okay, we're going to mix all of this in. Folding it in. It looks good already. And then what I do add with this, because this ricotta is just not enough. I mean, it's fluffy, it's fabulous. But we can always make it a little better, right? I put some six cheese blend in as well. And I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use half of that because I do want to put some on top of my stuffed shells as well. Here we go. Here we go now. And then a mozzarella. So it's a little bit more texture. See how this is like a fine Italiano? Or this, hang on. This is like a fine Italian one. This one, the mozzarella, has more texture. So half and half, half a bag, half a bag, and then we'll put whole thing on top. The, the half a bag, the two other bags we're going to put on top to make a hole. All right, let me mix all this in, and then we're going to add some egg. I got one egg judged by itself. No water, no nothing with it. Just put that in. You have to do that. I don't know why. It's just something that my mother always did, and my sister, when she made her stuffed shells, put the egg in. So I put the egg in. I suppose if you had a dietary restriction of, you probably wouldn't be making this, right? <laughs> yeah, that was smart of me. Well, you could use vegan cheese, vegan egg. That's true, I don't know. You can make it your own. You don't have to necessarily use dairy. Okay, so we got all of that in. And then there's one thing more that I kind of like to do with my it's kind of a secret thing, but it's something that I, I saw on well, I guess, you know, a network that does food. <laughs> is, that, is that like, you know, secretive enough for you? It's like a network that does food, right? Figure that out, scramble those words, fit it in where you need to. And they had this on there and this one person had this on there. So I do it. It is nutmeg and it's a secret ingredient that goes into anything greens or dairy and you don't use a whole lot you just use a little it's such a holiday smell though but it really doesn't make a difference in this as far as like people are gonna have to say oh is that nutmeg in there no they're not even gonna know and we're not even gonna tell them so we mix that in and you can do it for cream sauces you can do it for any greens that you use in your recipes and for this cheese it's gonna be good and that's my spices of choice so this is the filling and then i'm going to add also this as well which is my cooked charis and look at that mm -mm 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 -mm. It's so good i love charis and if you see my channel you watch my shows on my channel, you're gonna notice I do Charisse a lot. I'm Portuguese like that, you know? Hello. I'm Portuguese like that. I love Charisse. It's just so good. And this is probably where I'm gonna start adding the cooking water because it's definitely gonna thicken up this cheese mixed jaw. So I'm gonna stir this in and add a bit of the cooking pasta liquid just to thin it out a bit and not make it so too thick. It has to be able to spread inside the shells. And I already made my shells, they're pre, they're pot cooked. Now the shells are not fully cooked because they're gonna go into the oven and I don't want them to be overly mushy. I like a little al dente with my pasta or even my shells. All right, so I'm gonna keep mixing this and then I'm gonna show you how to stuff my shells because we are having Charisse stuffed shells today on Everything Spice. Stay with me, friends. We're at the home stretch of my Cherie stuffed shells. And here they are. I got the oven preheating at 350, and here are my shells, okay? And they're all par-cooked. They're not fully cooked. So here we go. We got the 
cheese mixture with the cherise, the cheese, and all the spices in it. And here we go. We're going to stuff them. I don't have to overly stuff them, but I do like them a little bit more stuffed than most. I'm going to do a couple for you. And this is what I do. Now I have my pan here, and I have it sprayed with cooking spray. I have my sauce here in the crock pot that I'm going to add to this mixture. I'm going to add it to the pan. The bottom should have a little bit of sauce on the bottom. That way it doesn't stick the pasta. Okay, so I do a couple of ladles on the bottom and then zhuzh it around. Zhuzh it around a little bit. Make sure it sits really nicely in the pan. It's an aluminum pan. I reuse it over and over again until I can't use it anymore because why waste? We have enough garbage in our landfills. These things can last for a long time. So I'm setting it in. I'll do a couple of stuffed shells. I'll show you how I stuff them. And then what I'm going to do is 350 degrees, I would say for an hour, just to make sure that everything's I'm going to cover it up with parchment paper and aluminum foil. And I'm also going to, I'm going to stuff them. So before I do that, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to stuff all these shells. I'm going to show you what it looks like before I aluminum foil, okay? And then I'll put it in the oven and you'll see the final reveal. So let me show you what I mean on the other side. All right, we're at the home stretch. This is it. This is it. And this is what it looks like. All stuffed. Beauteous. This is not it. This is not over yet. I'm going to add some pepperoni. I'm going to add some pepperoni to it because why not? Each one gets a little pepperoni on top. And it's not necessary to do this, but I kind of like that layered feeling to it. It's gonna make it even better. So stuff each one of these shells with one pepperoni. Keep going till it's done. And then what we're gonna do is add some cheese over it because like, yeah, we can't have enough cheese, people. Cheese, please. And you don't have to do this extra stuff. Get the cherise, the cherico, the chorizo, the hamburger you can use, the sausage you can use. You don't have to use if you don't have that in your area, Cherise. You can certainly add any other meat to it that you want, even a vegetarian crumble if you don't like meat. Okay, this is it. So this is what it looks like. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. So now we're gonna do is add all of our sauce here that we have from the crock on top of this. I'm gonna layer it on. And it looks so good, so chunky, so wonderful. And our oven, as I mentioned before, 350. And we're gonna do this for about an hour. I think that should be good enough, an hour. But check it, ovens can vary. If you have a slower oven, you might have to do it longer. What I'm gonna do is cover it for an hour and then I'm gonna uncover it just to get a little bit melty from the cheese on top. Why not? You can add more cheese, I mean more sauce, less sauce. It really is a preference. But I I love the sauce. This sauce is so good, so chunky, so fabulous. And it almost looks like to me, which is what I was going for, a lasagna. The stuffed shells is like a pocket lasagna when you think about it. There you go. That is done. Cover it up so that it doesn't dry out. It's like my biggest fear. I hate that. The idea that you work, go through all this trouble and your pasta is dry? What? Not possible, friends. Shake cheese. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your cheese. Shake your cheeses. And this is a Parmesan Romano pepper, of course. Of course, I'm gonna put this on. You know I'm a pasta girl. 
I'm a parsley girl, so I'm gonna shake it on this time versus throwing it all over the place. Now, here we go. And that's the underneath layer. Let me push it out of the way. That's the underneath layer of fabulousness. So we're also gonna add cheese on top. Mm -mm -mm. So, you could certainly, in the end, it would probably serve as a really great, like, layered lasagna. But then people will say, what's that? That's like little pieces of pasta. Yeah. It is so good. Okay, one. Now the Italian blend. Because I just cannot have enough cheese in my diet. I'm not kidding, I love cheese. Love it. And this is Primo Delicioso. Primo Delicioso. Fantastico. Look at that. Mm -mm. Look at that. Come over here. Bring yourself over here, my friends. Look at that. That is delicious. And it's going to get all bubbly and delicious in the oven at 350. 350 an hour. Uncover it, check it out, and then let it get all nice and slightly golden. Slightly golden. Cover with parchment. If you don't have parchment, what do I always say? Don't use it. It is not necessary. There you go. Cover that up. My aluminum foil going. Cover both ends. I have two sheets of it. Cover it up. And then, this is really good. Come on, Pop Pop, get out of the way. And then we're going to put it in the oven and let the oven take over from here. And wash my hands, put my spices away, clean the decks out. And then I'm going to be back. I'll be back for the final reveal of this delicious meal. Stick with me, friends. Okay, here it is, my friends, the big reveal. Ta-da! This is stuffed shells in a big pan. Let me make you some. You want some? I've got a bowl plate right here for you. And look how ooey and gooey. And oh my goodness, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out. It's so cheesy. Look at this. Cheese, please. Yeah. This is, I'll get you a couple of stuffed shells for the road, baby. Here we go. Mm -mm. Look at that gooeyness. Let me get you some gooeyness. Now that is perfecto. All right, gorgeous, wonderful, but could be a little better. Let me see if I can get some shake cheese on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Stuffed shells, here's your plate. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, like, subscribe, and join me next time for Everything Spice. Be safe, friends.